Good morning, everyone. How's it going? We got some Seahawks stuff to talk about. And, well, when it comes to today's topic, I have some good news and I have some bad news. So, the good news is that the injury that Bobby Wagner sustained on the first defensive snap of the game on Sunday against the Lions for the Seahawks is not devastating to him. It's a knee sprain, sprains to a couple of ligaments in his knee. And he will probably be totally fine in a handful of weeks, maybe a month. I can't imagine it would take more than a, a couple of months. And there will be no surgery required. So if Bobby Wagner wants to continue his football playing career past 2021, then this injury should have no bearing on his ability to do so. It shouldn't really affect his decision at all. That's the good news. Bobby Wagner's career is not over. The bad news is, his season is. Wagner will not play in Week 18 in Arizona against the Cardinals, and his recovery will come in the offseason. Now, the recovery should be complete and beyond <clears throat> any degree of concern, well before the um, uh, next season starts. But for our purposes, that may not be that useful. So what can we say about this? Because I I've already spoken at length about Wagner in previous videos, previous uh, streams. We discuss him all the time because his status as a member of this team going forward is in, in, in question for sure. And I was talking a good amount about how this could be his swan song and it sucks that this may be the way that it ends it sucks that he might play his final home game as a seahawk and play one snap and then head back to the locker room and it sucks that his final game overall as a seahawk may come with him watching from home or watching from uh hospital bed or whatever. I, I don't know, but it sucks that it will end like that. But if that is the circumstance that we are facing in this, uh, the, the circumstance we are facing, then I am willing to face it. And my position on what Bobby Wagner should be going forward past this season has not changed. I believe the Seahawks need to move on from him for monetary reasons, for age reasons, for just a desire to start something new that has an opportunity to um, be be part of the long-term plans of this team going forward, it all has to happen. So, obviously, with this news, we now know that Wagner is likely to at least consider trying to come back next year. He will consider it. However, he has played 10 years. He has a lot of mileage on him. He's played probably an extra season's worth of games from the playoffs. He's missed very few games, missed very few snaps, and he's made a lot of money. Uh, we were actually uh, talking about this in my Discord a few days ago. He, um, in NFL salary from, from the Seahawks in his career, he's made like $85, $86 million. And I know he hasn't gotten to keep all of that, obviously. Some of it gets taxed, but... Um, I, I know he's also done some endorsements and commercials for, I, I think he was doing pistachios or beef jerky for a little while. He, he's done some other smaller local things as well. So he doesn't have anything really left to fight for if he decides he just doesn't feel like it. He's got a Super Bowl ring. He's done pretty much everything that you can do in the NFL as a middle linebacker. So I don't know what his mentality will be if he gets released. I don't know if he's going to say, I'm willing to come back for another team, or I only ever want to play for Seattle, I'm going to retire if they don't uh, retain me. So time will tell on that, but I'm even though this is sad, even though this does suck, even though this is in its own way disappointing, it, it doesn't change my position. He's he's. I don't want to see Bobby Wagner slip to the point where he's just an average player. I don't want to see Bobby Wagner slip to the point where he's just... Uh, mediocre uh, middle linebacker who can do what some you know random sixth round pick could do and it wouldn't really make any kind of uh, effective difference I don't need to see Bobby Wagner sink to that level 
I'm already seeing him start to sink. He's not making the plays that he used to make. On, uh, in Sunday, I, I, I hate to bring this up right now, but you saw it. Cody Barton just looks a little faster than Wagner at this point. And Cody Barton is not known for his tremendous speed from the linebacker position in the first place. So my position there has not changed, even though I well acknowledge that this is certainly unfortunate that his career ends this way. Um, he, he also loses out on the opportunity to do some pretty historic things over these next, well, this now next one game, but the last two games, really, because he missed basically the entire Lions game. And that is also unfortunate, but I think we also understand that at the end of the day, we need to be rooting for this team. We're not rooting for the players. And whether or not a player achieves some relatively meaningless counting stat um, record in a bad season is not really something we need to get all that wrapped up into. So, if this is indeed the end for Bobby Wagner, then... I just want to say he is one of the greatest Seahawks of all time. He will leave Seattle if we move on from him, which I fully expect. An eight-time Pro Bowler, a six-time first-team All-Pro, which, by the way, he still has a chance to make the All-Pro team this year, so that number could be seven. I don't know if him missing basically the last two games is going to hurt his case that much when he's already played so much. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's got a great all-around game. Um... 11 career interceptions, 6 forced fumbles, 60 pass deflections, almost 1,400 tackles. It sucks he's not going to get to 1,400, by the way, which he probably would have if he didn't get hurt, but that that's the way it goes. 23 and a half sacks, 3 career touchdowns, 9 career fumble recoveries, uh, 68 tackles for loss. A, a lot of these numbers are franchise records, like, like tackles obviously is, solo tackles, assisted tackles. Um, they are franchise records. I, I think that uh, tackle for loss, he's come one short of the franchise record, which is currently held by Michael Bennett. But um, yeah, obviously, he's not going to get there. And at the end of the day, I I can't take very much away from uh, uh, Wagner Wagner at all as a player. He was a guy who spent most of his career playing without any significant holes in his game. I do think that in 2019, he was starting to look a little bit um, out of sorts. But he still played well. He still played effectively. He still did his job. Um, there were some extenuating circumstances that year. And he has pretty much always been that guy. He's pretty much always been a guy who I knew was going to bring all he had. A guy who was going to just continue to put everything he had out there on the field. And that's why Bobby is my favorite Seahawk of all time, I think. he He's going to go out the right way. He's not going to go out by saying anything mean about anybody or flipping off a coach or a teammate or anything like that. It looks like he's going to go out the way that a classy individual should go out, which I appreciate because we've seen some players leave on a less than uh, a, a stellar note go from this team in recent years. So, hey, I appreciate that and I appreciate everything Bobby did, but I'll say it again. That should be Bobby's last game. And it, it sucks it's on a game where he only played one snap. It does. But that should have been Bobby's last game. Um, if there was any thought to bringing him back even on a reduced salary, I think the fact that he had that injury, even though it's not a long-term concern, should uh, put the brakes on that. It should remind you that he is getting older. His body is starting to get beat up. And you can't necessarily depend on him to be as reliable as he's been over his career. I mean, yeah, just look at the games he's played over his career. Barely any missed time. All right, that's all I got to say. So it's not breaking news because this was announced yesterday. I couldn't make a video yesterday, but Bobby Wagner out for week 18, season over career. We don't know, but as, as much as I don't like to say it, I think that at the end of the day, Bobby Wagner's career as a Seattle Seahawks should be coming to a close starting now. All right, see you guys later. Let me know what you think. Go Hawks, and obviously, love Bobby Wagner. Appreciate everything that he did for us. But um, this, this cannot change my position. It doesn't.